Stan, you have a pretty nice job. I have a nice job, but yours is maybe better. You are the brand ambassador for Louis XIII Cognac, René Martin Cognac. So there's a lot of history uh, about Louis XIII. We're not going to go all the way because it would be too long. It could be a whole movie, basically. Uh, the short version is that Louis XIII Cognac is named after uh, Louis XIII, uh, the French king, who was actually the father of Louis XIV because uh, he's the one who created the appellation cognac. So there's a lot of, there are a lot of art and love and care that are involved into the creation of a bottle of, of Louis XIII cognac, right? So sure. and it, it, there's, it's, cognac is in France, it's a particular region. And um, tell me the, the stage, there are basically four big stages before we can pour the liquid in this gorgeous bottle. Right, the various milestones that we went over tonight. Starting at A0, which is going to be one single eau de vie, and we distill on the lees, and we talked about that a little bit in detail. But uh, this is one single eau de vie, very powerful, about 70-70% alcohol, 140 proof, and uh, this is not seen in any barrel, so it's the full, full potential. And this has a uh, you know very fresh fruity notes of pear and uh, some early wildflower notes of lime blossom. But uh, this is definitely where we pick out an ODB that is a 10 plus ranking. And it's an ODB where the cellar masters is, has detected these intensities. It literally can give you a heartbeat in your mouth. It's so powerful. And that she knows. I would imagine. <laughs> and that she knows that these intensities are going She's to, the winemaker, the, the chef de cave of Rémi yeah, Martin. Yeah, Pierre Duché. Yes. And she knows that these intensities are going to to prove uh, for this O to V, so it's going to be able to age for a very long time. Then you like phase number two, which is 20 years. 20 years. What yeah. happened from zero to 20? So this single O to V has now become a blend of 50 O to V, uh, representing two to three vintages. And so now this is seen. Uh, a cask, so it's been tamed just a little bit. So some of like some of the power has been lost, and it's gained some more flavors. And these uh, these different notes that we were discussing before, with the the fresh fruits, have now become ripe fruits of peach and apricot. And normally, an eau de vie at this time would be reaching its maturity, but these eau de vie are just beginning. So now, stage three, 40 years. What happens 40 years? So now we're at a blend of 300 different ODV. So 300 ODV, that means that what we had before at the table created some of it, right? You have less liquid than when you started 40 years ago. Exactly, the evaporation is between two to three percent every year. So that's thousands and thousands of bottles that are being evaporated. That hurts. <laughs> I know, that's a lot of angel share, a lot of happy angels out there. But anyways, these, uh, these ODV are now picking up uh, textures and this, these balances and these flavors are really coming together. And you're getting a lot of uh, these sort of candied plums or the long aging is creating a real jammy factor. Stage four, 70 years. Now we're at an age. Yeah, you're, you're, we're getting old, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> now, you know, we're really, uh, these, this eau de vie is, um, is on Pierre Trichet's radar. Um, these eau de vie are, not in barrels anymore, they're in much older casks. The one you call Tierson? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. We're, we're getting there. Okay. But now we're up to 600 different eau de vie, or impressions of wine. And this increasing blend is creating very rare flavors and notes, such as walnut and mushroom, and even deeper um, different notes of uh, dried honeysuckle petals, and saffron, and uh, forest floor notes. Uh, nuts, sorry. So here is really where these, um, these flavors are balancing and these textures are creating velvet. But the mellowness is yet to come, and that's what we'll discuss next. But that's the one where we'll never see because we'll be dead by the time we will be ready, right? Right. Well, it, for the cell masters, essentially, because they're never able to experience their final blend or their right. final product. Yeah, because it's like, it takes three generations of cell masters to... Four generations. Four generations. So it's, yeah. So now this eau de vie is going to be placed into its final resting place, these century-old French Limousin Oak Tiersson barrels or casks. And these have very thin walls. This allows this, uh, this subtle exchange, exchange to occur. And they're, they're much larger barrels. But 
the unique thing here is that these barrels that are so used, they really impart uh, such a, a little amount to the ODB inside. So the ODB is really able to absorb all the elements from outside, from, from cognac, from the, the cellar of the chai that it's actually being aged in. So the finished product that goes in the bottle has, we're not done after 70 years. Some of ODV that are in here are 100 years. Correct. And you use, you, you were at a number of what, 600 ODV, but the finished product is 1200 ODVs. Yes. 1,200 different impressions of wine aged up to 100 years in these tessels. And then I heard stories about the flavors of the, 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 the gold liquid. There's like about 250 different scents and some aromas. Yes. Aromas that you can. Yeah, it's, it's very, very complex. Again, 1,200 different impressions of wine in this glass. Uh, so there is, we usually taste uh, with two different noses. The first nose, you get these, these candied fruits of orange and plum. The first is the one you, you have from a little far away, right? Correct. Yeah, you really want to uh, to be just below your chin, yeah. really focus your mind and your nose to these cell aromas. And this is really what we test about, is, uh, is these cell aromas. It's a very smooth, delicate, aromatic spirit. And when you come into the second nose, this is really when you get these spicy oak aromas. And there's so many to mention, from vanilla to oak, nutmeg, it's incense. Hold on, 250, you have to name them, right? Right. It's going to be a while. <laughs> you, you stopped me, I could have kept on going. <laughs> you talk about the um, cognac tonight. We had an uh, amazing dinner at Sam's restaurant, the um, private tasting room of Chef Jose Andres, and people were so happy at the end of dinner that so many, when they were chewing, they broke the glass. Even though it's Cristal from Baccarat, they were, I don't know what happened, but it just, that was literally the first time I've ever seen it happen. Well, I, I you know why they were really happy with the uh, evening, and then so it was an interesting dinner. Uh, but it was the dishes that were a progression of uh, of flavors and scents and strengths, following the zero, age zero, age twenty, age forty, and age seventy, where it, it was getting stronger and stronger on the plate. Just to remind us of the whole history of uh, Wittred and history of the making of Wittred. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay.